everyone and welcome to a new video here on my channel. I realized just a few days ago that I have never done a tattoo tag, which is something that you guys have been requesting for years. I think I was planning on getting my sleeve done before I did a tattoo tag, but I mean, I do have other tattoos that I can show you guys right now. And the sleeve is like, it's in progress, <laughs> let's just say. So for those of you that have been following me for a while, you guys have probably seen most of my tattoos. If you do not follow me, subscribe right now <laughs> and uh, join the babes here on my channel. You guys are the babes. I am too, I guess. I'm gonna go through when I got them and uh, why and if they have any meaning to me. Maybe I will talk about how much they hurt, but honestly, I've never gotten a tattoo that I think really hurts. It is my biggest tattoo on my thigh that hurt, but that was like seven hours of like just going at it. So I mean, anything would hurt after seven hours. So uh, without further ado, let's just get into the tattoos. So when I was a young child, <laughs> me and my family got a dog. His name was Vincent. He was the absolute best dog in the entire world. He had such a personality and um, like I miss him so much. Can you tell? I'm sorry, but I'm like really, really emotional when it comes to dogs. He was a Shetland sheepdog and it was our family dog. He was my best friend and I loved him so, so much. I think I was around like 18 years old uh, when he passed away from old age. And also he got like, um, yeah, old age pretty much. Me and my sister actually made him walk around with like baby paint on his paws on white paper, like back and forth, back and forth. He hated us for it, but um, it was just so we could get a print for the tattoo. So my sister actually has like the same tattoo, but on her ribs and I have it here it is. So it is his actual paw print. I know a lot of people really don't like like paw tattoos, but this is probably my favorite tattoo, obviously because it's Vincent on my arm forever with me. It is so cool. It actually looks like he has stepped on my arm and I really, really love it. So let's just go through the arm now. So first off, we have this little feminist tattoo. It represents that I am a feminist. Oh, and also this is made by Asin, uh, my friend, and also she has done loads of my tattoos. So it's mostly those two that have made my tattoos, Victor and Asin. So yeah. Next one is this little false lashes, teary, sad girl <laughs> tattoo. I honestly mostly just thought that it looked cute. I really like how it looks when I stand like this. It's really really cute. Okay, now for the hands. I don't have anything on this hand because this is going to be my sleeve, but I first off have my little YouTube tattoo. I got this done at a event. It was not planned at all, but I actually thought that it suited me. I mean, I am on YouTube. It is my job and I love YouTube and uh, play and pause. Yeah. Then this is my recent tattoo. I got it very unplanned. <laughs> it is actually so not straight at all. As you guys can see, I do think it's kind of cute still. So I don't really care. And then I have my hand tattoos or this is the hand tattoos. This is the finger tattoos that I got. Uh, my first tattoos on my fingers. It says uh, in Swedish because I am Swedish for those of you that don't know. Uh, it says, Vad vill du men kom då? Which is kind of like, oh, by the way, it's the lyrics from uh, a Swedish artist, but it kind of means like, what do you want? Come at me then, kind of. If that makes sense. It sounds so much better in Swedish, okay? <laughs> and now for this tattoo. And this kind of represents that I love cows. You guys saw in one of my videos that I actually, like when I showed this for the first time, I can link it up here or there. My first little pet, not pet, cuddle toy. <laughs> I don't know what it's called in English, but uh, it was a cow. And also it's kind of a vegan tattoo as well. Yeah, I said it, I said it, I'm vegan, okay? Vegans always have to say that they're vegan. I know, but I am. But yeah, this is how it looks. It is a little cow and it has flowers on it. It's like really, really pretty. And 
I love cows. And it's like on the back of my arm. So it's like really pretty when I stand like this. <laughs> yeah. And now for the bottom part of my body. I have a very intimate tattoo uh, that I'm gonna show you guys now. So don't be scared. I am going to lift my skirt. Okay, so here it is. I actually have a vlog when I got it done. It is right by my panties and it says lucky you. I really, really like it and I think it looks super cute on my body. So I've actually seen a lot of like the uh, tattooed people on YouTube that I follow, like Morgan Joyce, Katrin Band, Monami Frost. Uh, they have talked about not being satisfied with some tattoos and I don't think that's something that you should be ashamed of because it's not like it's the end of the world like I do feel like this next tattoo is something that I do regret I don't regret getting it but I do regret the outcome and also I regret going to that person which kind of sucks but also it's not like I'm sad about it. So the tattoo that I do regret is my legless tattoo here. It is. A lot of you guys have seen this and I do know that a lot of you guys really really like it. But the thing is, it is made by a guy that was a complete jerk, honestly. It was my second tattoo ever. He was just really not someone that I would go to. So I think that I mostly regret the tattoo because I do not want his piece on my body, if that makes sense. Then also this uh, thing around it I love because it's my tattoo artist Asin that made it. But I actually wanted like a frame around him, but the tattoo artist that did the portrait didn't want to do a frame for some reason. So Asin did this afterwards to like try and make it up, <laughs> I guess. I think it is way too warm. I think his hair is way too yellow. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this thing around it is like black here. And then it becomes blue here. I don't know what that is about. He also have gotten like some of his collar also has faded like around his nose and right there. So you guys can probably see. And this guy does not work in Sweden anymore. If I'm gonna look him up, he's probably in Russia. <laughs> yeah, I really don't love the portrait of him either. I mean, you can see that it's Legolas, but I would have liked him to be more elvish. If that makes sense. Although I want to say, if I could like make this go away, I would still do a Legolas tattoo on my thigh. So that is not what I regret. It's just the outcome. And also it is a pain in the ass during the summer because it gets itchy, it swells up and I hate it <laughs> during the summer. And then even further down, just above my knee, I have my Clueless tattoo where it says whatever forever. And this one I actually got done for charity, which is kind of weird. We were raising money for a charity here in Sweden and I got this done live. It's actually on my channel if you guys want to see it. Then on the side of the same leg. It's my Beetlejuice tattoo. You guys know I love Beetlejuice so much. I really wanted him on my body and now I do. For those of you that have seen Beetlejuice, he's sitting on the, uh, the house that it's about. He looks crazy, just like he is. He's crazy. So on my right leg, we have the Weather Forever Beetlejuice. And then also we have, wait, how am I gonna show this? <laughs> But it is a one of those cards, you know, tarot cards. Also very spontaneous, but I really, really, really like it. It looks really, really cool on the back of my calf, I think. Okay, these next three ones I have on my foot. And um, this is something that I would not recommend to you guys, but I actually got these done myself. Okay, so here we have my Manson tattoo. It's not exactly what Manson has, but... Kind of. And then on this side, I have a heart with an H on it, which stands for my friend Hannah. And then right by my little toe, I have this sad smiley. <laughs> I'm sorry for feet. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> that was all of my tattoos. Um, how many are there? Nine, 10, 11, and then the tiny ones, 12, 13, 14. 14 tattoos. Some of them very small, some of them bigger. And I cannot wait 
to get more. <laughs> I really, really enjoy getting tattoos. Although I'm really happy that I did not, when I was younger, get like shitloads of tattoos in one go, because then I'm sure that I would have like Hello Kitty, cupcakes, scene, queen, diamonds, and stuff like that, which is totally okay if you guys have them, but it's just something that I've outgrown and it's just not me anymore. <laughs> so very happy about that. That was it. I really hope you guys enjoyed my tattoo tag. Please let me know what you guys think. If you have any favorites, have a great day and I hope that we will see each other in the next video. So subscribe for those of you that have not already subscribed and we will see each other in the next video. Okay, bye guys.